Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is a solo run of the E15 Lost Sector. Obviously I'm doing it on Legend. And this was actually the run from yesterday. The Hunter run got corrupted. I couldn't do anything about it. I didn't find out till today, so I've been frantically trying to save it. Couldn't. So this is the Warlock and the Titan, which I got the gauntlets, the exotic gauntlets, for both characters during these runs. Three modifiers, as with all the Lost Sectors. So we've got... Vex Goblins produce Radiolarian pools. We've got Void Damage 50% and we've got Arc and Aerial Damage is increased. So the weapon setup I use, I've been using for these Lost Sectors pretty similar. I will run different weapons as we go on but I found that these are really efficient. So same as with the last Lost Sector, I'll commentate the first run because the runs are, strategy is pretty simple. So We'll go on Void Walker top tree. I do like the stasis subclasses, but not enough to actually run them. <laughs> last uh, the Night Watch Scout Rifle, Last Pedition, Pulse Rifle, and the Anarchy, and roughly the same kind of mods because it's a very similar sort of idea. You can see the mods I'm using. So as I say, stasis is a good subclass, but it's just not as good as this for me anyway. I do enjoy using them and I will use them in some of the videos coming up. So I hope you guys enjoy the run. Uh, it is a bit late but this will come back round and when it's gauntlets you guys are going to want to farm this. So hopefully you guys enjoy this run. I, I did have a lot of fun doing this one. It's very kind of uh, frantic until you get used to it. So when you start you've got a couple of arc enemies which... I'm going to be honest, you've got to watch uh, arc damage enemies, there's no, no arc shields. Uh, you've got to be careful because if you don't take care of them sharpish, they'll start throwing grenades up here. And there we go. And the grenades do a lot of damage. So we're just taking this first overload out from, from range. It's a similar sort of idea. What we're going to do is, you see that the scout rifle is just absolutely panning him when he's, when he's stopped. And you're getting that extra damage from the Anarchy, which is why I've been using the Anarchy. It allows you to do damage without actually putting yourself in harm's way. The, the mods we've got on means that we're going to drop some heavy so we can be liberal with the usage of the Anarchy without relying on it totally. Now, the annoying thing about this Lost Sector is you actually think that these little guys are going to be like a big help. They're not. <laughs> they really aren't. In fact, they make things more difficult at times. So when you get down to this next area, I always try and put the grenade straight on straight on the Minotaur to take him out. And then I turn around that first the first goblin, take him down with a couple of pulks, and then melee him to get a ton of my grenade back. Because the melee gives you a grenade. As soon as you get into this area, you're going to have a couple of snipers. So you can see I've got the middle kind of... The middle bar right on that sniper and I just ping him with uh, an anarchy. This is where you'll find, start to find these little guys become annoying. Not only do they push you and budge you out the way, uh, but they, they also uh, take these goblins and other adds quite low, but leave them headless. So they become like even more dangerous annoying but I suppose it's like it's like playing in crucible you know when someone runs into you in crucible and it's like man can you not see him here these little guys are like those guys in crucible so you'll have seen I jumped up most of the runs I've done I've done about three or four runs of this I would jump up and I would just put a, a grenade right down on these goblins but this time it didn't work out so because I got pinged when I jumped up so I've jumped again went back up I've put a couple of Anarchy on the Cyclops, that will finish him. Uh, it's a very eff efficient... The Anarchy is just super efficient. Super efficient. This is a good place to attack everything from. Because you, once you take down... You have got a Sniper just up to your left. But once you take down the Cyclops, eh, you can see pretty much everything. If you if you wanted, you could break the, the last three boxes. You could break the three boxes that are here. Now, the Pulse Rifle will do a ton of damage because it's Void. So, not only are you, it seems to be, and it wasn't something that I noticed to start with, but you do that same damage that the opposition are doing with the same burn. So you've got another champion in here, it's the only barrier we've actually got. So we'll just take him down, 
and then put a couple of anarchy on them. Now the reason why I backed away is because I had that Minotaur there. I don't want this this uh, champion to go too far. And he, he actually did. So I'll put a couple of those. Normally I take care of that guy pretty quickly. This is the first time that happened because normally he's on the other side of the walkway. He's on the other side of this walkway. So, you know, the thing about making guides and what have you, the ads aren't all, they don't always do the exact same thing. But uh, where, I, where I was is normally, that's where I go every time. So, now we're at the boss. I normally don't leave this area. So as you can see, they're already running at me. I normally stay in this area and do, do a ton of clear up from this area. When the boss comes, which he will come, obviously, I put two anarchy on him and then you, you've got, uh, so in this area, you've got some overloads. So you don't really, you don't really want to be out in that open area. You can see how much damage the ads do. It's it's insane how much damage they actually do, and it's because of the void, you know, this uh, wyvern. So we put 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 an anarchy on him, back away. Anarchy should finish him because he was under he was under half health, but it it didn't. So that one will. will. You've got this full area behind you to back down into, in case you need it. So when when the inside, once all the ads are gone, the inside of the room slightly changes colour, and then you can you can expect the boss. Now, my only tip for the boss is you'll see I'm trying to wait until he isn't facing this doorway to attack, because if he's facing the doorway, his attacks really you can't you can't survive more than two of them. Two of them will kill you. Splat if one of them directly hits you, it'll probably kill you. So what I do is I put the two anarchy on them. I can see when they've stopped hurting them, and I can just kind of mop up ads from this area. He will move to a. Th He's got like four positions. If you do good damage, he'll skip one of them. So he starts up on the top bit. He'll come over here, then he goes over the other side of the platform, and then he goes back on the platform. So this is the first of our overloads. Unfortunately for him, I my Nova and just never bothered about him. So I've got, I'm going to go back, do a bit of clear up work because if it's worthwhile trying to take these ads because if you don't, the little guys that are there to help you, they'll just make them headless, their weapons are point really bad and then they'll just come charging at you in full all. So I'll put a couple of more there and as soon, every time, every time as you see there, every time I fire, I'm right back in here and I try and wait until there's no more fire coming in more ads come this is your next wave which you've got an overload in this this wave as well so as I say I'm I'm, I'm really being uh, tentative at this point because I've, I'm close to beating the boss but I know that there's still another overload I think I just seen him there to the right so the boss is dead there's your overload so we'll put a couple of, we'll put a grenade and then no, normally I'll stick some anarchy, I'll try and stop him again. There he is. And just put two anarchy on him, that should be enough. And that is the run guys, this is your area. You know that everything's clear when the lights change back to kind of a, a, a whitey blue, they go red when all the ads are in there. I hope this helps. Uh, thanks a lot for watching the video guys, you can see I've got the gauntlets. I will leave you guys to watch the Titan run, and I will see you in the next video.